Your Excellency, you have told us that towards the end of this month, Belgium's Parliament will make an announcement concerning a law that punishes those who deny and negate the genocide against Tutsis. Can you tell us the significance of this at this time? Le, le gouvernement belge a, a proposé au Parlement de voter avant la fin du mois une loi qui érige en infraction pénale euh, le négationnisme contre... The Belgian government presented the bill to Parliament and our objective is prevention because as you know denying and negating the genocide is a way of planting seeds of hate in people and so we must show our commitment to fighting this which is why we presented the bill. We are confident that towards the end of this month our Parliament will make an announcement and anyone who negates or denies the genocide against Tutsis will be punished. Dans un cadre négationniste, pourront être sanctionnés. Et aussi euh, sur le plan de la justice, euh, c'est vrai, la Belgique c'est parmi les pays qui ont déjà fait un pas par rapport aux poursuites. Belgium is among European countries that have tried genocide suspects. Are there other dossiers currently in the country's judicial system? And what is your take on some countries that have continued to drag their feet when it comes to trying genocide suspects? sur le continent européen qui traîne encore le pas sur, euh, sur, sur ce dossier. Mais certainement, la, la lutte contre l'impunité est un... Certainly, it is important to eradicate the culture of impunity, which is why Belgian courts have continued to work on cases related to the genocide against Tutsis and even made rulings. I cannot tell you about what is being done now by the courts, but I can say that cooperation has been ongoing with EU judges and on the international level so that we can develop that dynamic aspect of judicial cooperation. Dans un cadre européen ou dans un cadre international est aussi un point important. C'est pour ça que nous avons tenté de développer cette dynamique de coopération dans le domaine judiciaire.